Hello everyone and welcome to my series on how to mod Hearts of Iron 4. This first part here specifically is going to be just creating your first mod. We're not actually going to make anything besides that, but this part is important. Um, another important part is knowing that you have two programs. First, you're going to need a text editor. I personally use Notepad++. Uh, the base notepad does work and there are other uh, text editors that definitely do work as well but I personally use this and it might be the easiest to follow along with me if you had notepad plus plus another thing you're gonna need is an image editor um, Photoshop definitely works and that's what I'm gonna be using of course not everybody can get Photoshop but you can use something like paint.net I wouldn't recommend the base paint that's gonna be rather difficult maybe impossible haven't tried it and GIMP, I am sure, definitely works as well. But there's a bunch of other alternates that you could use as well. So besides that, which I highly recommend you get, I will provide Notepad++ uh, link in the description. Uh, we're ready to go. So I imagine most of you have Hearts of Iron 4. If you don't, this is going to be rather difficult. But you know, you can you can follow along to the best of your ability. But you know, to start off, we're going to be opening up Hearts of Iron 4 and you're not going to go any farther we are going to be going into the mods tab over here which for those of you that have not opened before well here you go you get all your mods from the workshop and uh, yeah we're going to be going to mod tools and for those of you that haven't opened this either here you have two tabs you have upload mod and those are all the mods you saw before that you can upload them and you also have create mod create mod is going to be the one that's important here so you see you have mod title which is obviously the title of your mod for example if you go to the workshop, these are all the mod titles here, and you can search by the mod titles. For example, we could do, I mean, this is kind of silly, but World War II, for example. And I'm only doing that for a reason you'll see here in a minute. And then you have directory. Directory is just going to be the place on your computer where you put all your files in uh, for your mod so that the game knows where to get them from. Uh, let's see, you also have your supported version, 1.1.0, that is currently the version I'm using. It's going to be whatever is current for you. I mean, you can change this. Uh, nope, so it won't let me. But 1.1.0 uh, is the one that I'm currently on, and you're generally going to want to put that to the one that you're on, unless you're making some sort of backward um, mod. And here we have mod tags, and that's why I chose World War II, because uh, if we go over here, let's see if I can move this window. It's always terrible to move. Yeah, it's really hard. you got to get pinpoint precision. So we have a bunch of tags here, and as you can see, they correspond over here. And the reason we have this is so, say, my mod's going to be alternate history. I can search by alternate history on the workshop, and you see it changes here. Alternate world 2, all this stuff. Um, so there's that. So we're going to go ahead and name our mod. Uh, this is going to be the one I'm working with. I've already made like my directory, so I won't be creating it. But you guys I'll just have to do one more step than I do. So we're going to name it. Um, directory, generally the best thing for directory, and this is just like a programming, not technique, but convention rather, uh, you, you want to make sure it's not capitalized, and of course mod with that directory already exists, that's because I've already made mine, um, and generally you want your mod title and directory to be related, for example, you know, I can make, uh, for example, Millennium Dawn looks something like that, right? But the directory for it is something like this. See, you can't have spaces in your directory name, so you have to use underscores. Yeah, exactly. So anyway, uh, after this, you would go ahead and create your mod as long as there was no errors present like I have. And from there, you'll get a message saying it's been created in your document. So we're going to go ahead and go to my documents. We're going to go to Paradox Interactive. We're going to go to Hearts of Iron 4. We're going to go to Mod. And you see here, for example, if I had created Macedon, which is what I would have done, but I already created it, you'll have this directory here, this M3 fold, empty folder. That is the directory name that you picked. And then you also have this file right here. For example, since I put Macedon, the, that's what they're named. Um, and this is actually exactly what you inputted over here. here. I'll try my best to make this a little easier. So you see we have our, well, it's a little confusing, but we would have, there you go, <laughs> sorry. Um, so we'd have our name, Macedon, which is the mod title, the directory, Macedon, path, mod, slash, Macedon, and then we have our tags, alternate history, and then we have a supported version right there. And there we go. So the next step after this is we're going to actually close out of Hearts of Iron 4. 
we're going to go to our library again. We're going to go back to Hearts of Iron 4, relaunch it. And if we go back to mods, and if you've done everything correctly, you should be able to scroll down here. I mean, for me, it's under M, but this is alphabetical, so whatever you called your mod, you should be able to find it. And here we go, we have Mastodon, we can enable it, and we could click play and go totally into the game. The only problem is we have not actually done anything yet. And that's what we're going to be doing in the ne next episode, rather, is we're going to be creating our country. We're not actually going to be adding anything to the country, we're just going to create a very basic country. But we will be adding our country, and I hope you guys stick around for that. Um, please like, subscribe, share, do all that, and I will see you guys next time.